Twitter. Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Latest and latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars players and some other updates we need to know on this channel. Mohamed Kudus, he has had the latest interview and Kudus, he has reviewed a lot. The club he was supporting in Ghana here when he was growing up, the club he supported in Europe and also the players that he was watching, his idol and everything. We will check it out in the latest interview from Mohamed Kudus. We also talk about Black Stars players. Yes, some are getting injured. Others who are also recovering from their injury. We will speak a little on that as one coach has confirmed Black Stars right back is not going to play over the weekend. And it is a sad news. We'll talk a little on that. A little on Ghana Black Princesses, Inyaki Williams, Andrea Yu, and some other updates we need to know in this one. Before then, if you have joined us, take your time and like the video. Always, if you join us, please like first. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to this channel, join the family, put us on post notification so that anytime you drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Leave your thoughts and comment in the comment box. I also give a shout out to all those who commented under the last video in this one. So stick and stay for that. After watching the video, when you are leaving, share the link for others to also come here and enjoy this quick updates on this channel. Quickly, let's begin from here. No time to waste. Before I bring you the updates today, I'm still hammering on this. Ghana Black Prince Successes. The arena bonuses have not been paid. I would say their qualification bonuses. Let me put it that way because the team they played qualification to qualify for the World Cup, which will happen in Colombia this year. And so now, per what I know, the girls have not been paid. The under 20 girls, they are playing so well, giving us so much joy. In fact, I don't know what is going on. Ministry of Youth and Sports, you are responsible for doing that payment. But the GFA should also give them pressure. That is one point that always also comes from. Because if it has to be the Black Stars, we all know, even though the Ministry of Youth and Sports might prioritize the Black Stars, but, you know, that thinking shouldn't actually come. Because the princesses are doing so well under the coach. You see Bazigi, and recently they also won. African Games 2023, um, the female um, games for us. So, yes, we should pay the black princesses and the payment has not been made as of now. Last time I told you that one player among the girls was injured when the African Games was going on. And, you know, qualifying for World Cup, at least they should pay their qualification bonus for them. Per what I know, it is not yet paid and I'll continue to hammer them until the need for them is done. So please, after watching the video, share to any of the platforms so that it will reach um, those in authority and they will do the right thing. They know that they have to do the right thing. But unless we make the girls trend, unless we hammer it, or, you know, I don't know, Charlie. So guys, that is it. So leave your thoughts in the comment box. Now quickly, let me begin the quick updates from here. Today, Athletic Bilbao, Inyaki Williams, Nico Williams, you know, all the players, they were actually parading and it was really nice. After 40 years, they won their first trophy, that is the Copa de Rey, and they celebrated it on the water. It was really interesting, you know. You see a lot of boats, a lot of shape, everything was on the on the sea, and they were really jubilating. So we saw Inyaki Williams showing pictures, Nico Williams also showing the trophies. Everything was really interesting, and that is it on Inyaki Williams. So he's still chilling in Spain. Over the weekend, they will be playing against Villarreal at the San Mamé. So let's wait and see if they will actually go there and continue their celebration but everything is great celebrating on the water and also bringing it to the streets of um you know the, the bass region everyone is enjoying in there and that is a great one for inyaki and his side athletic about now today we also have um roberto Dizebi. he is the coach for brighton and hove Albion. over the weekend brighton they will play a game against benley and he has come out to confirm that Tariq Nilamte, he is going to be unavailable for this game. As I said, Black Stars players, some are going on injury, others to are returning. Last weekend, I told you that for Sinaman Kwab, he has gone on injury. And today, I've seen him that he's part of the RB Salzburg um, squad that they are going to use to play today. But he is not in the starting eleven, So, um, it is a good news. I think he is back to the bench, which is a good one for him. But... Um, you know, some players are still going on injury. Dennis Odoi, professor, right now he's on injury. Yesterday I told you he didn't play for his side club bridge. But right now we have Kofi Tre, who is now working his way back. And surely he will be back very soon. We also have Joseph um, Edu, who also went on injury at um, Celta Vigo um, from last year. He is also here to play football for them. So let's wait and see how things will go. But as of now... Tarek Lamte, he has also picked a knock and he's going to be ruled out of the game this particular weekend against Burnley in the EPL. And Tarek Lamte, I don't know, he's a fine right back, very, very good player. 
But injuries, injuries is not allowing this player for us to get the best out of him. I don't know, injuries are worrying him in his, in his, in his career and we have to always support him in prayers and hope that um, Tariq will actually go over this particular one as well. Now, let me move on and talk about Mohamed Kudus. Yes, he has granted the latest interview with EA Sports and he has revealed a lot. First of all, Kudus was asked about the club that he was supporting growing up in Ghana here and also the club that he was supporting outside Ghana and why he was supporting that club. Let's check all out. After that, we will talk more. Which team did Mohamed Kudus support when you were growing up? I was supporting a team in Ghana called Haas. Who was playing on that team? Why were you supporting them? Was it the local team? Yeah, it's, it's in the Ghana League. Yeah? You, yeah. You were able to go to the games and stuff? What was the atmosphere like there? It was crazy, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's in the city I grew up, you know, it's in Accra, the capital, so yeah. What about in Europe? Did you watch any European teams play as well? Was there any sort of European sides you were watching thinking they play nice football? I like watching Yeah, Barcelona. Them. Yeah. Barca. What was it about Barcelona? Messi. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, the easiest one. Yeah. So that is it from Mohamed Kudus. After mentioning that when he was growing up in Ghana here, he was supporting Hassel folks. Some Kotoko fans were like, come on, come on. But you know, it's normal, you know. And he also said that he used to watch Barcelona that much because he just loved watching Barcelona. And also because of Messi, he was watching Messi. So if you go online right now, the Ronaldo fans are trolling a whole lot of things. But it is part of it, you know. Yes, everyone loved Messi. Everyone also loved Ronaldo. Both players are great. Great, great place. If you say you love football and you don't appreciate their performances, their talent and effort, then I don't know. So yes, that is it. Kudus also added when he was asked about his footballing idol, he said it is Thiago Alcantara, and I think we all know um, he also got a sign shirt from him. So let's check that part out. After that, we will also take the last story and draw the curtain here. Who is Mo Kudus's footballing idol? I liked um, Thiago a lot. Yeah. yeah, I saw the shirt on your Instagram, all the signatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big yeah. moment for you. I don't know. I just, you know, I love players that play with creativity and try to entertain the fans, you know. And you can see that from how I try to play also, you know. So that's just why I loved him, you know. Yeah, he was just too smooth for me, you know. How did you get that shirt? Because I've seen your Instagram, all the signatures, Thiago. How did, how did you get that? What happened there? Yeah, so when he was in Bayern. Oh, okay. um, there was a friend that knew him and so he just yeah talked to him and then he, he got me the shirt and did yeah. you ask him did you say come on i need this shirt yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and then yeah they sorted it out and then they sent it over to me i was i was so happy man have you got it framed on your wall yeah at yeah i told him it's, it's framed prize possession yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so that it is from muhammad kudu speaking on tiago akantara and how he got a signed shirt when the player was playing for Bayern Munich and some other ones. Now, um, finally, let me talk about this one. Then I give shout out and I'll be out of here. Speaking about Andrea, you the captain for the Black Stars team. There's been a lot of conversations around the team who are rebuilding the new Black Stars around. And should he be taken out because of his age, because of his performance, and a whole lot of stuff um, on the captain? According to the former right back for Black Stars, someone in whom we should maintain Andrea because he's experienced and the young ones will have to learn from him and a whole lot of stuff. He said this on GH1 in the latest interview and as quoted by um, Ghana Sokanet 8 Reese, I believe if you have a team, you have to have the experienced ones and the young ones because the young one cannot just come like that. You are supposed to have experienced one inside the team that can motivate them and can also encourage them that is what he told gh1 tv and he also concluded by saying i don't think at the moment we have to kick andre ayu or maybe the senior players out of the team they have to be in the team give the young ones confidence and say a lot of um, encouraging stuff because i think that is how a team is supposed to be. So that is what um, you know Samuel Kuma actually said. And I don't think anyone just wants Andrea to be out of the team just like that. You know, um, Ghana here that we don't know how to take players out of team. Um, you know, as they are growing or as their performances is actually reducing, you need to also manage their minutes in the national team and also try to inculcate the new ones or try to blend them. And um, you know, everything will go on well. So I. For me, I don't just subscribe to the fact that we should take out all those, um, you know, senior players, you know, in quotes from the team and bring in all younger ones. You, you need to blend them, but giving the opportunities on the pitch 
every player must know that okay this is my strength that i can add to the team at this moment so everything will go on well for the team so i think that's what we should do and that is it from summer income let me know your thoughts in the comment box now let me give shout outs to you guys before i take leave of you shout out going out to gideon um akagbo gideon akagbo you commented first under the last video yesterday i appreciate you so much gideon i also have um joel ekwaji yes joel thank you for being here um then i have prince ahiale thank you prince um, can you kiss me? Yes. <laughs> can you kiss me? Your name there. Thank you for being here. Richard Ewa is also on this channel. Ima8485 is also here. Mariam, Mariam Apima, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Then I have Jumo Samson is also here. Thank you. S. Romani Eric, thank you for being here. Ken um, House or Ken Who's. Okay, thank you, Ken. I've seen you. You are doing great on this channel. Then I have who again? Let me move on. Vosha Sovanos, thank you for being here. Vosha Nana Eben, you are also here. Jason Grant, thank you for being here. Imano Amani is also on this channel. Then I have Fiaco Courage. Fiaco Courage, thank you. I've seen you. Richard Dometi is also on this channel. Amet Jani is also live here. Um, Agbo, um, okay, Agbo Dumo. Wow, Agbo Dumo, thank you for being here. Oh, okay, okay, I've seen you. Akron Emmanuel is also on this channel. Akron, um, then I have Frempong Ofori on this channel. And the last one is Blue View Capital. The ones that I skipped are the ones that they only have username. If your handle is username and you're commenting, please add your name because some of you is user JVS3 something something something. So please add your name so that I can also give you a shout out anytime I want to recognize your presence on this channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to always like the video for me. Subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.